Steph, you take a look at the personality of this team. It, the, maybe the last two or three years, teams have the ability after games like this past weekend to rebound. What is it about the team when they're called upon to make a statement game that they're able to respond this way? Yeah, I just think it's, it starts from the top of the organization. Um, it works its way down to the leaders, and it, it finishes at our young guys. Um, it's a whole group making a conscious effort to um, make sure that we compete and um, you know it's and obviously it's way more fun playing that way than it is uh, playing like we did uh, over the weekend. Did you feel tonight that your game started to come the yeah. way you wanted it to? Yeah, Almost a little like bit. Talking about this morning. Yeah, a little bit. It's it's again. There's there's still parts that are. Um, it's going to take a while to get it all the way back, but uh, I was again. I think uh, game by game here, I feel each better each night. Um, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm focused on tomorrow's practice. Um, and you know, that's it's, my first few years. You know, practices have always been important, but really, right now, they're really there's a lot of emphasis on them um, for me uh, coming back from injury. And the first it looked like you guys jumped on from the start for the first period. Was the key to that just pressuring them? I mean, three, three goals in the first period were off the turnovers. Yeah, no, it's it's you know, it's where it's how we want to play. Um, Every single night, uh, you you have to pressure guys and create turnovers because uh, it's too hard to um, to make tic tac toe plays every single night. Um, you have to find ways to create turnovers, and that's when you get them a little bit scrambling. That's when you can score goals. Yeah, how can you explain the difference on the weekend where you guys the inability to get the puck with the first pass out of the zone as compared to tonight where it seemed the D guys were getting those passes immediately out of the zone? You know, I didn't think it was um, all that terrible in Toronto. Um, I think we made five mistakes that ended up in our back of our net in Toronto, um, the big ones, and they, they capitalized on them. And Sunday, I felt that it was really a struggle for the whole team. Um, so I, I think, you know, it's, it's I, I just said it on the, in my interview out in the Cisco, up in the air cam, you know, I think we did a lot of things tonight in fives. Um, we, you know, defended in five and we broke the puck out in five. And when you do that, it makes it very easy to connect dots. You talk about defending in fives, but it seemed like you guys did an excellent job tonight taking space away from Malkin and Crosby. Yeah, and, and, and that just comes with, you know, being, you know, there's times where those guys are going to beat you, you know, beat guys off the walls because they're elite players. And we need to have support there. And that's what, you know, having five guys is for. Yeah. I think I won that one. <laughs> I don't know. You can ask Chris tomorrow. I don't think he's very happy with it. <laughs> like he was it. Yeah, I was feeling it. Like I, it's like he punched me in the gut. <laughs> but I win. <laughs> right now, like a sack of potatoes.